Hey, welcome to the first episode of the FanCast Comic Forum. Uh, now, every week I'm going to produce a short video specifically about comic book news and some of the comic books that I think you should be reading that week. So this is the news for the first week of March, um, but also for the uh, last week of February. So um, let's just start with new creative teams. Uh, the creative team of Dan Slott and Stuart Eminem uh, lured me back to the tales of Peter Parker with their run on The Amazing Spider-Man. See, their focus on classic Spider-Man storytelling, character development, and awesome visuals kept me engaged in stories dealing with the fall of Parker Industries, the resurgence of the infamous Parker Luck, and his surprising relationship with Barbie Morris. So now it looks like a new creative team will be taking on the book with Secret Empire uh, mastermind Nick Spencer taking over writing the title, with Invincible artist Ryan Otley taking on the artwork. Now, Steve Rogers will have a new creative team coming soon as well. Now, I've been reading Mark Wade and Chris Samney's run on the character since the end of Secret Empire, and I have thoroughly enjoyed the uh, pseudo-redemption arc of Steve trying to rediscover America and find a permanent place to put down roots. So it's been satisfying to have Steve Rogers taken back to his roots as a hero. So news came out this week, and we covered it on superpoweredfancast.com, that author Ta-Nehisi Coates would be taking over writing Captain America uh, with his first issue debuting July 4th. Now, Coates is currently um, writing the Black Panther series for Marvel, as well as his stories for The Atlantic. Now, I'm, I know many of the so-called comic book fans who have been railing against anyone with a point of view or opinion writing their beloved characters is going to have a problem, but I'm keenly interested in seeing what Coates does with the character. So on to uh, new comic book reviews for the week of February 28th. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about is Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 300. It's uh, written by Chip Zdarsky with art by Adam Kubert and Juan Frigeri. Uh, now, this issue continues the Tinkerer storyline with uh, Spidey trapped by some technically enhanced foes, including Shocker and Whiplash, while depowered heroes like Hawkeye, Ironheart, and Black Panther step in to help. Now, the action is really well done. Uh, the art is great, and the story is both dense and well-paced, with an ending that adds a new twist that I wasn't expecting. Now, the next story is... Uh, the Despicable Deadpool, number 295. Now, writer Gary D Jerry Duggan and artist uh, Scott Koblish uh, continue to tell some amazing stories uh, with the Merc with a mouth. Now, in this issue, Wade reminds the readers through his actions that he is not the hero of this story as he continues to work his way through the hit list of victims that Strife has has his has him contracted has contracted him for after saving Wade's daughter. Now, one of the targets calls in and uh, calls in some help from Kitty Pride and Colossus. And there is an almost uh, poignant uh, moment from Wade when he confronts another victim. Now, the end of this issue looks like um, Deadpool is going to get uh, to work out some secret empire aggression on the hero who uh, confronts him next. Now, from Boom Studios, this is Abbott number two. Uh, from Boom Studios, writer Saladin Ahmed and artist Sammy Cavella uh, continue to tell a, a layered and engaging supernatural thriller uh, mixed with uh, classic film noir elements and hard-nosed detective drama as Elena Abbott navigates an increasingly dangerous mystery in the backdrop of racial tension while dealing with 70s-era misogyny. Now, the next uh, from DC Comics is The Terrifics, number one. Now, Jeff Lemire and, and Ivan Reese uh, visit the Dark Multiverse in the wake of the events of Dark Knight's Metal in this first issue that features a new band of heroes on an all-new mission. Now, Mr. Terrific gets sucked into the Dark Universe due to an experiment, experiment involving uh, Metamorpho, and he needs Plastic Man's help. Uh <clears throat> Plastic Man help in his uh, unique way and his uh, unique genetic makeup to keep them safe. 
Now, as they make their way to what they think is a local planetoid, uh, they find another survivor of the dark multiverse and machine that opens up an all-new mystery from a familiar face. Now, there's a lot of potential with this book. Uh, it established the characters in conflict, and, and I want to see how the mystery progresses and what it means post-metal. Labyrinth Coronation Number 1. Now, the first part of a 12-part series, um, this premiere issue starts out great and was my favorite read for this week. Now, it literally begins after uh, Sarah gets lost in the labyrinth and... Um, <clears throat> she's lost in the, the oubliette uh, specifically. Now, if anyone remembers the film, that's uh, sort of the crucial moments. It actually is uh, also kind of like a, a break where they start a, they start a musical number. I'm not going to tell you which one, because if you're a labyrinth fan, you should already know. But um, as Jareth notices some uh, dissension in the ranks uh, from one of his goblins, uh, the, the minion tells the goblin king that Sarah will, it is in his words, um, never give up. And so, of course, uh, Jareth uh, decides to uh, tell both the goblin and uh, baby Toby a story. And he doesn't go, he doesn't, you know, specifically come out and say it, but you can kind of imply that the story is about uh, his parents, just because if you like, literally, if you if you look at the story, it's it looks uh, the 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 father and it looks exactly like Jared. Now, this is uh, written by Simon Spurrier uh, with art by Daniel Bayless. And I, I really love this story. I, I thought it was amazing. The the uh, comic is, is both gorgeous to look at and even more entertaining to read. Um, I love how you see just it, like the the uh, vi almost the the volatile marriage of uh, uh, of Jareth's parents in in 18th century Vienna. Uh, it's a great story. It's definitely one uh, that I will be reading. Uh, until the end. So, uh, so there you have it. Just a quick uh, kind of rundown of the the first episode of the Fancast Comic Forum. Uh, just kind of going over some some comic news that interested me this week, and the comics I read this week that I think are are worth reading. Um, but let me know what you think. Like, um, let me know what comics you're reading. What comics you would you want me to to talk about. Or, you know, you can even, uh, you know, as, as this progresses, if it if it gets a little if it gets better on this end, uh, we, I may be able to just kind of have guests and people uh, come in and talk about talk about comics, the comic comics that they like and just kind of go back and forth. But let me know what comics you're reading. Let me know what you think of the comics I talked about. And if you like this comment, uh, please subscribe. So you can find my full uh, comic book reviews and comic book news on right here, superpoweredfancast.com. You know, you can also find my uh, news items and comic book reviews on uh, Geeks Worldwide at uh, www.thegww.com. And you can always find me on Twitter at superpoweredfan. And I will see you next week. <laughs>